today's video, we're going to talk about the mental process that you can use to always advance regardless of where you're at on the instrument. Grab your guitar, we're going to get started right after this. Hello, my name is David Wallam and welcome to this channel which is all about helping guitar players around the world find their unique voice, develop that voice on the instrument to tell their own musical story. And today we're going to talk about the thought process that will help you advance in your musical development. It's, it's so simple that we often forget. So we're going to talk about it to get it today. I'm going to demonstrate first over the backing track and then we'll talk about it. And before I do this, the backing track I'm about to play over is available for free. The link is below the top line of the description of this video. We'll take you to a page where you can download the track. All right, so here is what we're gonna do. This backing track is in B minor, B A L E N, and I'm just gonna jam. So that's your job. When you get this backing track, just jam over this until something happens and I'll point it out. So I'm just gonna jam. So as I'm jamming, I'm, I'm listening to what I'm doing, responding to what I'm doing, and trying to develop something. It happened right there. See, I kind of messed up, right? All right, so this is what's happening. When you're improvising over a backing track, first you might test the waters a little bit, you know, a few notes here and there. Develop a theme. And then at some point you get a little more confident and you, and you start just kind of like a, playing a little bit faster, relying more on your fingers. You might have the idea, okay, I want to do something that goes from here to there. I'm just going to go for it. And that's what happened here. I was doing something like this. But I, but I messed up a note. If you rewind, you'll see that. So I stop and I ask myself, why? <laughs> That's the eternal question, right? But but I'm going to take that last idea, and that's why you need to stop right away so you remember. And I'm just going to try to develop some um, finger memory, muscle memory in there, so that next time I play this kind of faster idea, the direction, it'll be a little cleaner. So that's really the idea. You stop and you work on whatever came up, because if you don't do it now, you'll never do it. So this is kind of what I had here. I was, um, I was getting kind of excited. <laughs> Playing a little faster, and it was in that zone of the fretboard. I'm in B minor. All of the things that you've learned while developing your, you know, uh, understanding of music will come into the picture here when you're analyzing what you did. But I did something. Okay, something like that. It's very slow. Okay. That doesn't work. That there's something that that uh, I'm always stumbling on that, and it's this lick here, but it might be something else. So you really need to be conscious of what you're doing, analyze your movements, and ask yourself why is it not working. So in this case, I'm doing a, an economy picking thing, where I'm down, up, down, up. Oh, sorry, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And I want to end on this note. But, you know, that's a little awkward because I was doing a series of um, three note per strings and then here I'm suddenly adding two other notes. So I've got five notes here. So that's where I sit back and try to... That's what I need. Change the position a little bit. Okay. Okay, it's not that hard. It's just that I had to sit back, analyze what I'm doing, and um, execute that at, at slow speed. Now my fingers are a little more trained. 
that's what I need to do. So I'm going to go back to my track here. I'm going to improvise a little bit and we'll see if it comes out a little more naturally. Here it is. Okay. A little better, right? Just because of that switch. It's really just a mental thing. When I started, when I started playing slowly, my mental is very connected with my fingers because it's slower. So the, the train of thought is almost direct because it's the right speed. I know the sound that is kind of come out. The more, the faster licks, the more automatic licks, those are the ones that I need to slow down to, yes, I'm relying on my fingers, but I need to train my fingers, and that's what I did there. Better, right? Because now I don't have, I know that, I don't have to do that. So that's the idea. Whenever something comes up in your playing, like that, that didn't work, you stop right away and you work on it very slowly. So most of the time it's going to be a rhythm thing. Okay, that works. Now I should be able to execute that a lot smoother. Kind of, right? In other words, don't let the mistake slip by you because you're never going to be able to, to, to um, assimilate what you're doing. You've got to pause. You've got to stop. You've got to really analyze what's going on. Teach your fingers. They have a mind of their own. That's what allows you to you know, grab a guitar and a blues jam and play pentatonic without thinking about it. The thinking about it is the key word. You need to stop, think about what's going on, train your fingers to execute that. All right, that's my idea. Just remember to do that. And if you do this each time you pick up the guitar, whenever you make something uh, in an improvisation context that doesn't flow, stop. Ask yourself why. Fix it. Next time you'll play it, it'll be a little better. And it's all about strategies to be able to... Uh, Carry the conversation a little bit longer with your guitar. All right, that's what I had for you today. The backing track here is free with uh, the scale diagrams as well. The link is below. And if this was your first visit on the channel, can't thank you enough for spending these, um, see how long, 15-ish minutes with me? Oh, well, there's some edits. Thank you. I really appreciate it. If you don't want to miss any videos, you should consider subscribing and hit the bell icon because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, a new video like this one comes out helping guitar players around the world find their voice on the instrument to tell their own musical story. This is your pencil. You're the author. Master this. The story comes from inside, not from here. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you very soon and practice well.